The state legislature has wrapped up its session and a marathon session. Lawmakers passed more than 450 bills in the last five months. CBS4 political specialist Sean Boyd has been there for it all. And Sean, many of the bills passed have Coloradans getting money back in some ways, but other bills passed so that we are actually going to be paying a little bit more. Karen, it's unclear exactly how much money lawmakers saved us this legislative session. You know, while they invested hundreds of millions of dollars in affordable housing, for example, they also passed new building codes that the Denver Chamber of Commerce says will add at least $13,000 to the average price of a home. And while they reduced some fees for businesses, they also added regulations that could cancel out the savings. Here's a look at some of what they did over the last 120 days that may or may not save you money. We've done what we've come here to do. As Governor Polis and Democrats in the state legislature reflected on the 2022 session, one theme emerged making sure that we are helping people save money. Relief for small business owners, tax credits, reducing fees. We made Colorado a more affordable place to live. They pointed to investments in affordable housing, a temporary cut in the property tax, and tax refunds under the Taxpayer Bill of Rights as examples of how they're helping save Coloradans money. Republicans say don't believe it. We have just finished a session that has seen our Democrat colleagues continue a relentless expansion of state government. Over the last three years, they say Democrats have added 16 new state offices and passed 17 bills with all kinds of additional fees. Soon be paying fees every time they flush their toilet, throw away their tires, or bag their groceries. They've already had to pay fees on their energy usage in the face of this gasoline uh, increase on their fuel products and even on their health care. So where are we saving money? There are some smaller cuts to vehicle registrations, for example, in professional licenses. But Common Sense Institute looked at the 12 biggest reductions of the 2022 legislative session, which add up to $854,000. Found almost half of that is money taxpayers would have received as refunds. Instead, Democrats provided targeted tax relief. For women's hygiene products, for example, mass transit and affordable housing, Democrats also count as savings a temporary suspension of a fee on gas that they imposed last year. This historic session to reduce costs, to save people money. Don't be mistaken. The fees they suspended were just replaced with other fees. Democrats did pass some bills that will mean real savings, low interest loans for families impacted by the pandemic, for example, and a change in how businesses, some businesses file their taxes that will mean hundreds of millions of dollars in savings every year. Other savings may not be so obvious to you. For example, lawmakers did reduce property taxes, but that doesn't mean you'll pay less in taxes, just less than you would have had they not passed that bill. Same goes for money they put into the Unemployment Insurance Trust Fund. It lowers what would have come out of the business payroll. So some savings, but just maybe not as much as some will tout. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you for breaking that all down for us. We'll win.